Hi, this is Christian with Homeschool Planet, hoping to show you one method of block scheduling you might choose to use in your homeschool. Hopefully this will get your creative juices flowing because there is more than one way to do block scheduling and all of them are very exciting, but we only have time to do one today. So now we have language arts and math on the calendar in front of us and we have science below. What you can see is that language arts and math are scheduled more traditionally. What that means is they're going to have 180 school days to do approximately 180 school days worth of work. What they're going to do is they're going to do each of those every day for one hour. In the afternoons, our sample student chooses instead to use a different form of scheduling known as block scheduling. They're going to take a a, a longer block of time, so two hours instead of one hour, to do one subject. But the catch is that they're doing more work per day for that subject, and what they're wanting to do is to take that block of time and to eliminate all transitions in that block of time. So they don't want to have a transition to move to another subject. What they're use, doing is they're using that block to do one thing at a time. So that, that means as we flip forward here, you can see that they're only working on science every day during that same block of time. Now, some people actually choose to have two separate blocks per week. So they do Monday, they do every other day is the other subject. But in this example, we're just working on science first until it's completed. Now you can see our science is complete. 35 weeks of science have been completed in far less than 35 weeks of school but they are done science for the school year. Next, they're gonna to move to social studies and we have three components, current events, which would generally be scheduled in our example once per week, so 36 assignments. They're gonna have 150 history assignments and they're gonna have about 108 geography assignments. So you can see we've gone ahead and created another class on the calendar and we have applied that lesson plan as you can see in our lesson plan library, our current events lesson plan, we have applied that to this class. So what we did is we chose our start and end date for the class before we applied the lesson plan. And then when we went to go and apply the lesson plan, we chose to double or triple up the assignments to fit that time period for that class. So you can see our social studies current events class will carry us through to the end of December and starting in January, at the beginning of January, we're gonna move then to our history block. So now you can see 150 assignments are gonna get spread evenly amongst the time period that we selected when we created our history class. Side note, you can use grouped grading if you wanted to grade these classes. Now we have our geography block. I'm gonna show you how I applied the lesson plan and I'm gonna do it to our geography next. We're gonna go into our lesson plan library, click apply this lesson plan and apply to an existing class. We're going to choose the geography block or you can choose a different and it will give you a list of classes but in our case it recognizes that we're going to choose this geography block and we're going to include all assignments in the class and we're going to double or triple up assignments to fit the schedule so this is how we did it for all the other all the other classes as part of our block schedule and you can see now that our assignments are going to carry us through to the end of the school year as we had set it up to finish at the end of the school year and actually gives us a free day at the end. Now if we go into our monthly view I'm going to take you backwards through May to show you the end of the school year. We have finished our math curriculum early it appears we finished our language arts slightly early and you can see we have our history and then we going backwards we have our current events and then going backwards, we have our science. Every one of those subjects is done throughout the school year, but it may not look like your traditional schedule. But that is perfectly all right because you have finished everything and you have taken more time per day to work on one subject at a time rather than switching between subjects frequently. I hope that helps you see one way you can use block scheduling in your homeschool and our customer service team is always ready and waiting to answer any questions you may have about how to get that set up in your planner. Have a great day.